Welcome back, Imperials fans, for the second installment of The, the Pride! Pride! We're back for the second installment of The Pride with a couple of our players. Keith Allen, Joseph Roshu, Luca Lorenzo, Jonathan Adnell. And before we start, this is a special edition of Bean Boozled with the players, actually with Jonathan and Luca. We're going to go into a segment with Coach Jared Palmer on the Allen Americans that he played for this past holiday season and his first NHL goal. Check it out. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Come on! I had a roommate in college, Gary Steffes. Uh, we, we became really good friends, and uh, he's the captain of the Allen Americans in the ECHL right now. We kind of joked around a little bit this summer, and I called him a few months ago and just touched base with him, see how things are going. And I, I kind of always put it in his ear that, yeah, you need a guy, I'll be there. I'll, I'm in shape, I got my hands, you know, I'll, I'll be ready to play. And, and uh, you know, I, I didn't think they would really call me. In fact, I pretty much gave up on the thought that it would ever happen. But uh, right after Christmas, when my team here was just had left for uh, Christmas break, uh, I got a phone call from their coach and asked if I was in shape and could play, uh, how, how it fit in my schedule. So, and the team was gone, so I had a few days off, and I said, yeah, I'm in shape. I'll, I'm ready to go. Wasn't in the shape I would have liked to have been in, but I was, I was okay. I could hold my own, and um, I didn't really necessarily help the team uh, win any hockey games, but I certainly didn't hurt them too much. We did win two out of three on the weekend and they brought me in for six days and, and paid me and, and said uh, thanks for coming. And really I, I had a good time. I was on the road with them and I got to see firsthand what a, a, you know, another championship organization looks like because they, they've won several championships in a row now and uh, I was able to take a look at it and feel what it feels like to be a player in that team. And there were some pretty eye-opening moments there. You know, one of the things I noticed for sure was the type of character that was in that locker room and in that organization, there was a lot of character in there. The guys cared about each other. They cared about winning. They competed. They cared about, uh, uh, about their values uh, as far as um, not being goons. You know, there was a lot of respect for each other out there, and that was something that uh, I was really interested to see, um, and it was an awesome experience. I was very blessed to have gotten a chance to look at a championship organization like that from the inside and, and see what it's like. And, and learn, and learn, and grow, and I'll certainly be applying some of the new things I learned to my coaching now. So you also played for the NHL Minnesota Wild. The first goal, give us, give us your thoughts on the whole process. <laughs> well, I, you know, I can remember pretty clearly, and uh, it actually started off as a rough game. Uh, I, got s I, I was on a line with Brodziak and Clutterbuck, and we were kind of designated the shutdown line. We were supposed to shut down Taylor Hall. Nugent Hopkins and Eberle, and uh, it just wasn't uh, very possible, it seemed like, because those guys, you know, within the second shift I think I had against them, they had scored a goal, Taylor Hall scored one on the back door, and uh, it wasn't looking too bright, and I remember Coach Yo came up to me and said, hey, as long as you can stop them at one, you're doing all right, and I was like, oh, okay, so they expect those guys to score at least one goal a night, right, so I was pretty interested to hear that, and we went out and determined to not let them score again, and sure enough, we, uh, we created a turnover in the neutral zone on a 1-2-2 kind of trap, and, and Brodziak pushed a puck out to me, and I, I remember coming in thinking, pass to Clutterbuck, pass to Clutterbuck, we're going to get a goal. And uh, they took Clutterbuck away. I didn't really have an option to pass to him, so I was kind of, uh, I really only had one choice to shoot that puck, and uh, I, th I thought maybe if I pick a corner here, it might go in, and sure enough, it, it trickled in over his shoulder and uh, was able to find the back of the net. And I remember thinking after I saw it go in, I remember thinking that, they're going to wave it off somehow. Like, this can't be a real goal. And, and sure enough, Clutterbuck was kind of kind of smashed into me and grabbed me. And that's when it hit me when I realized this is, this is a real goal. So, uh, But after that, you know, it was a, it was a good experience. And uh, the team there, the Wild team, and, and Mike Yo, you know, classy guys, classy organization. And it was uh, a, a blessing to have been a part of that for a little bit. But as you know, I, you know, I dealt with injuries from then on and kind of um, – kind of retired from that and that's what uh, was uh, concerning a little bit when I played for the Allen Americans but you know I've been healthy for a few years now and it's felt good but uh, returning to pro hockey at 30 years old probably isn't the uh, right career path for me but I'll tell you it was a lot of fun to go back and play and uh, certainly uh, um, enjoyed every moment of it. This is what a fun game is. Yeah. 
All right, fans, we're back. I hope you like that segment. But we're here for a very special reason with you guys, especially you two. <laughs> we are going to play Bean Boozled. And if you had never heard of Bean Boozled, all these jelly beans that are inside have different flavors. They all look the same. You spin the dial, whatever it lands on, each player gets one, including myself, and we taste and see which one we got. It could be good and it could be bad, so... You guys ready? <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, no, Johnny's not ready. Here, 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 here. Yeah, go ahead. All right, there you go. There you, all right, all right, all right. you got, <laughs> you got, he got blueberry or toothpaste. All right, you guys ready? No. So you have to eat the whole bean. You can't, you can't spit, spit it out. out. Yeah, you have to swallow it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Go for it. <clears throat> mm, I got the toothpaste. <laughs> What'd you get? You like that? That was a. I think it's Barry Blue. I think Luca got toothpaste too. I think I got Barry Blue. So Gabe's the only one who got the good one. Yeah. Hey, look at that. It kind of tastes like Flintstones vitamins. I'm still there. Oh, no. I didn't want this. What'd you get? Licorice or skunk spray? Either one's bad. There's no winner there. You guys are someone's You guys ready? Someone's no, to throw that. I won't be ready like for the game. But wait, before we do this bean, these two guys, I give them a mic and the camera to go around the facility and start talking to people. Let's see what they came up with. I'm Joseph Roshu. And I'm Keith Allen. And this is Question Time with the Imperials. So with Josh, we're doing Question Time with the Imperials, and we want to know how Bailey enjoyed her uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, Bailey, my dog, mm -hmm. is uh, she enjoyed the vi uh, vacation very well. She did. Yep, she got a lot of leftovers from uh, from the table. Did you make her her own plate? Bailey is a princess, so she gets <laughs> uh, she got five five good scraps of turkey and uh, a mixture of mashed potatoes and stuffing. You know what I heard is there's a lot of drama going on right now with Crivo and uh, and, and Bailey. What, what's what's the story on that? I heard he's. Uh, yeah, uh, Nicholas Krivkucha and uh, my dog Bailey, um, they're in a little bit of a feud. Um, he, uh, you know, he, he doesn't he doesn't really respect her and she doesn't really appreciate it, so um, I can't really blame her. <laughs> I guess that's all we have here. <laughs> Is it true it's so easy a caveman can do it? <laughs> Come on, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, that's vicious, man. That's uncalled for. All right, hey, what do you, what do you think about the, uh, the coaching of uh, Mr. Josh Funk, our assistant <laughs> coach? How has he been doing so far? And I'd be careful because he's right there. No, I know he's right there, but, like, it's a great program. It's a great organization. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. He does a good, good job. 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 Luca is here, the Swiss. <laughs> Uh, we, we recently talked to Mr. McKenna over here about how you've been doing in English Express. What, what, what kind of grades do you have right now in English? I think I have a good grade. I have, like my average is like around A or some A plus, so that's good. <laughs> do, you, do you still not know how to say escalator correctly? How do you say it? Escalator. <laughs> You also like to dance, though, is, right? No, I don't like to dance. You dance all the time, though. No. Can where? Can where? You, can you hit the whip? You get a whip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the nene. Oh. So. Whip. Yeah, I did good. Dancing 101 here with Luca Valenza. All right, we're back, and uh, you saw the segment with uh, Alan and Brochu. You guys had fun doing that? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. A lot of worse. We're gonna have to do another one next time. So <laughs> now we have the black jelly bean, which is either licorice or skunk spray. Yeah. And either way, I, I don't I don't think I like skunk spray, but I don't like licorice either. So, so you, you guys ready? You lost no. either way. Yeah, I lost either way. <laughs> ready? Go. Do <laughs> <laughs> you need do you need a drink? Oh, oh, it's so bad. Got it. Oh. Got it. Come on, swallow it. I got licorice. <laughs> Did you? What'd you get? 
You didn't even taste it. Skunks. You didn't right. even taste it. Go ahead, do it. I have nothing. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> check your check your seats. <laughs> he did not eat it. He <laughs> ate it. No way. He ate it. He ate it that quick. You yeah. swallowed it? No. He ate he it. He saw it. He ate it. I'm gonna check the footage. I'm gonna <laughs> go back and maybe <laughs> eat it for real. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw it. I ate it. it. He ate it. I, I didn't. I was focused. What'd you that. have? Skunk spray. Skunk spray? Uh, I don't How know did it taste? That one. <laughs> you took it to the dome. So, butter, butter. Popcorn oh, or rotten rice. eggs. Oh. Prediction? I predict Johnny's getting rotten eggs. Lucas got rotten eggs. No, for sure. No, is it good, the rotten egg? No. A rotten <laughs> egg? Yeah, I don't know what that means. It's <laughs> bad. It went you're bad. You're gonna eat it and you're gonna find it. What was the other, <laughs> what was the other one? Uh, buttered popcorn. Buttered popcorn. Oh, that's that's bad sounds, too. That so far, I've been, so far I've been, uh, I've only got the good ones, other than licorice. You got that right? That one, you would eat right, bad. Hey, watch him. Hey, watch me. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. What'd you get? No. You got rotten egg? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get, Luca? Okay. Oh, no. Here we go. I think it's popcorn. But it's still not good. <laughs> I got popcorn. Oh. Johnny, you, you okay over there? <laughs> Don't throw up on us. We got a trash bag over there if you need it. We Don't do it. We got oh. a trash bag over you there. You got it. You Shake won't. It Shake you it. won't. Shake it. Hey, Johnny. Yeah. Hey, Johnny, you want to take What'd you get? Yourself? What did you get? I got popcorn. I get popcorn, too. I told you, Johnny. Was this is rigged. Yeah, but... <laughs> You're <laughs> picking it up. You have no water. We're going to go to a, a different segment. The guys here went to the showcase in Blaine, Minnesota uh, in December. So, uh, how'd you guys like that? It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Fun was good. Yeah. Fun. What about the last game? That was pretty intense. Oh. oh came down the wire. Yeah, a little, little sneaky goal there, but we played our hearts out, I think. It was a good game. All right, so we videotaped it, and here it is. Like, how's it look? It hurts really bad. And there's blood everywhere. Do it. But I'll, am I still pretty? I think I'm still pretty. I'm on TV. Hi, mom. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? No. Gabe. Gabe. Am I still pretty? Am I still pretty? That's all that matters. Wait, wait. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, all right. All right. So we're back and we're having a little discussion, and uh, he's no longer gonna pick his own jelly bean. So uh, I got it. We'll have got Keith it do it for him. So go ahead and spin. Chocolate pudding or canned dog food? Oh! Hey. All right, guys. Luca's about to pop it in right now. Ready? Pick it up, Luca. And go. This is dog food. <laughs> oh, he God. Got dog food too. <laughs> oh, so good. oh, I can smell it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh that smells awful. It, it tastes like. It smell it's oh. it smells like canned dog. Did you eat chocolate pudding? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> There's like one of the good ones. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a, a it so it, bad. Oh geez. It's like a puppy ate dog food and came and looked you accidentally looked at your mouth or something. Yeah, uh, exactly. That's nasty. Oh. Oh man. God. Johnny, I'm so sorry, buddy. I'll do better next time. Hey Johnny, you want me to, you want me to pick it? Oh. 
Oh no, what'd you get? Uh, Don't tell me you got Juicy one. pear or booger? Uh, I want to know what bugger is because I watch on my drum later juicy. and there was nothing. Booger? Yeah. What's the difference what between that like? and lawn Booger is when you pick your nose. It's this one. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> you hear? You heard it here first, fans. Luca Valenza picks his nose and. No, I it. never do it, but it's not bad. So I can do it. It's not bad. <laughs> you right, ready? Ready? Go. I got pear. I got pear too. I get pear. Yeah. I got pear. Check. Yeah, you definitely didn't get pear. Right. Oh. We got booger. How does it taste? Ah. <laughs> it kind of tastes like uh... <laughs> It doesn't matter what I say. It just tastes <laughs> like a booger. Sounds bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the bar for peach. Oh, no. Oh, oh, did, did we, did did we, we do that one already? Nope. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, oh, it's up to you. Yeah. Oh. Choose <laughs> wisely. All right, before we do this one, we'll go into another segment. We'll be right back. Welcome to this edition of Chalk Talk, or Dry Erase Board Talk. Uh, th in this edition, we're going to talk about D-Man. I'm going to focus on the defensive side of the game with defense. So there's three zones. We got our D-Zone, we got the neutral zone, and we got the offensive zone, or the O-Zone. All plays and where defense really strive is in the defensive zone. So basic positioning, when we're in the defensive zone, if we have a puck right in the corner here and we have one of our defensemen on it, our other defense, as a rule of thumb, wants to be on the back post. Even with that back post on the weak side, what I like to tell my defense is keep everything in front of you. So as long as you're on that back post, nothing that gets behind you isn't a scoring chance anymore. The other thing about being on that back post is you can see everything that's developing. So by playing this back post, you can see a defense up here, here, and you can see all the forwards in front of you. So that's what I like to tell my defense. Uh, play the back post, and then play the body in the corner. So say, for instance, the puck comes back over on this side. This defense, then, is in a position to go down and get the puck. This defense then is going to slide up, and then he's going to become the D on the back post, right through there. All right, so making sure everything stays in front of you, not letting anything behind you, and being able to see the play as it develops. It's been uh, the defensive portion of dry erase board talk. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. All right, so we're back here with the Bean Boozled, and uh, it's either peach or bar. What do you guys think it is? I, think I, I don't think that's, that's definitely, it has that's a little not, bit mark. I'll be honest with you guys. That's definitely, that's this definitely. Is, uh, yeah, that's, uh, here. Which one is, what could it be? Yeah, all right, ready? Three, Three bar. Two, two, one. Oh. Yeah, that's bar. Not doing that one. Not doing that one. That's, that's disgusting. That's gross. That is that's really bad. bad. <laughs> it was the good one. <laughs> that's bar. Oh, God. That's not good. Bring that's, the trash over oh, here. Oh. Oh. Did you eat it? Mm. <laughs> oh. I, I had pizza. Oh. <laughs> oh man. And with that said, fans, that's the end of the second installment of The, the Bride. Bride. The Bride. Oh no. You cheated. Yeah, you definitely cheated. You cheated. That's why he's showing this. This you cheated. So now we have the black jelly bean, which is either licorice or chocolate. And either way, you I cheated. Don't, I don't think I like but I felt, uh, I felt the. So, like, wait, wait. What was you the, cheated? You cheated. You cheated. Oh, I'm so 